Hey there my fellow designers and creatives, hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here as Design Palette and I'm back again today with another cool video. In this video, we're gonna take a look at my top Chrome extensions that I use to work faster as a designer. I've been using these extensions for a very long time now and I thought I'd make a video and you guys can definitely start using this as 2020 nears. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right. So as you can see on the top, I have quite a lot of Chrome extensions and these are the ones that I use all the time. Now, some of these may be familiar, but I'm sure that there are gonna be a couple of ones which you would never have encountered. And th these are like super helpful Chrome extensions. All right, so starting off, we have Momentum. Now, what you see on the screen is basically what Momentum does. It's an amazing Chrome extension that tells you the time and also gives you some kind of actionable and cool, nice little inspiring quotes. Uh, which, you know, every time you open a new browser, you can actually see it. It has a lot of features as well, um, like links that you can add on to the page and, you know, um, you know have a to-do list and quite a lot of stuff. Um, I prefer this over Chrome extensions like Panda or Muzzly by Envision because I just feel that I don't want to dive into so much content whenever I open up a tab. So Momentum is what I primarily use and it's really good and amazing wallpapers that you can see. So it looks really nice and fresh. So the next one I use is called Grammarly. Now you might already know it and I highly suggest you download Grammarly even for your mobile phone because it's going to be really helpful. Now Grammarly helps me to correct my spelling mistakes, grammar mistakes and any other mistake that I might make and make sure that I write really good sentences. Now this is really helpful when I'm writing medium articles because that is really important to make sure that your medium article or case study, whatever you're writing is in proper English. So that's really important. Highly recommend you download this. All right, so up next we have this Chrome extension called as Enabled Right Click. Now, usually Enabled Right Click um, is a really cool Chrome extension. Um, I, unfortunately, I can't show you, but basically what it does is some pages do not allow you to right click. Um, and for example, on certain websites that have certain kind of videos and it's embedded into the website and you can't download that video. So you can actually download this called Enabled Right Click and you can then start right clicking and download any assets, images or videos from that particular site. Up next, we have a Chrome extension called as GIF Scrubber, which is really awesome. So basically what it allows you to do, it allows you to slow down a GIF and actually play it like a video and see, you know, uh, each and every single frame of the GIF. Usually you can't pause GIFs, right? Because it's not a video file. So let me actually scroll down to um, a GIF that I have previously made. Um, I stopped uploading GIFs a while back. All right, so over here, all right, so for example, I can click on this and I can right click and choose GIF Scrubber and that's gonna go ahead and open up this kind of a new window. And as you can see, I can actually pause the GIF and I can scroll. So sometimes when there are cool animations and interactions being done, you can actually so slow that down to see how it was actually made. So you can see this, see this whole thing in slow motion. You can play it, you can play it in reverse order, you can play it in you know forward order, whatever you want. It also gives you the option to download. And there's a really cool feature called as Explode, which basically splits each and every frame of the GIF into separate files. So you can actually take screenshots or save them as you know individual files or copy images, which is really cool. So this is one of my favorite Chrome extensions. All right, so up next we have a really cool and an awesome Chrome extension. Now this is not Webflow's Chrome extension. Now this is called Simple Auto Scroll. So what it basically does, it it allow it scrolls the website automatically and the use the best use case for this is so that you can actually record a video, you know, using your screen recorder and the website automatically scrolls and any interactions or animations that are triggered by scrolling get affected. So let me show you what it does. So basically, if I click, you can actually see that the website starts to scroll. I can click on it again to go a bit faster. All right, and I can click again to make it go even faster, all right? And what happens is you can see that the website is just scrolling on its own and I can actually record the screen of it and probably share it um, so that anybody else can look at it. Now, I don't have to recreate this in After Effects. I don't have to export any images. I don't have to do anything. I just have to screen record and let this play and it's going to go ahead and just scroll through the entire page and you know, make sure that every interaction that's triggered on scroll is captured and that is really cool. Up next is a really cool Chrome extension again. So this is called as full page screen capture. So every time you wanna take a full screen capture 
of an entire website, the entire page of a website, you can definitely use this. So if you click on it, it's gonna go ahead and come up with this Pac-Man kind of an animation. It's gonna go through the website and it's going to give you an entire complete full sc screenshot um, of the website and you can right click and choose save it as a PDF or copy it or save it as an image or even edit the image if you have the premium version. So it's a really useful website when you're doing research, competitive analysis and you want to get some inspiration when you're coming up with a website design. So definitely check this out. So up next is a Chrome extension that I use uh, when I'm writing Medium articles. So by the way, if you haven't checked out my articles, do definitely check it out. Uh, it's really cool articles and, and it's really interesting. I've got one on dark mode as well. So quite a few articles, so definitely do check it out. So basically what's happening gonna happen is when I click on this Chrome extension called as Find and Replace, it's gonna go ahead and open up this kind of a thing which you can see in you know Microsoft Word, for example. So basically you can go find and you can replace, you can match case, you can search for whole words, and you can do a bunch of stuff with this. So I don't use this very often, but only when I'm writing articles, I do use this. So uh, it's a really useful Chrome extension for me. All right guys, so here we are in Webflow suddenly because the next one I'm gonna show you is a Chrome extension that I use when building websites in Webflow. Um, so basically here is the Chrome extension and what it does is for example, let's take a look at this text, all right? Let's take a look at this text. And if I come down to the color section and I'll click on this color and I wanna color pick this from somewhere. So ideally this Chrome extension, if you have it installed, allows you to go ahead and pick colors from any, anywhere and it's gonna automatically apply that color. Now this is just a simple color picker tool, but if you don't have this Chrome extension, you can't color pick colors. Um, you know, you would have to manually enter them. So this is a really um, helpful Chrome extension when I'm designing websites in Webflow. By the way, if you guys wanna learn Webflow or you guys are beginners in Webflow, I highly recommend you check out my free course that I made on YouTube. Um, it's a 12 video course and it goes about um, showing you how I designed this entire landing page from scratch, including if I go ahead and preview it, you can see that we've got some animations, we've got interactions, uh, we've got some cool stuff and basically how you can build an entire website. You know, even make sure that it is responsive. Um, a lot of things are covered, so highly recommend you check this out if you guys want to learn Webflow. All right, up next is another cool Chrome extension that I use. So it's called Colorzilla. So basically what it does, it basically allows me to pick colors from a website. So I can go ahead and search for any color that I want and I can just hover over it. And if I cop click on it, it's gonna copy it to the clipboard and basically I can find out which color, you know, that particular color is. It also has a couple of cool other features which I quite don't use, uh, but definitely you can check it out. It's called Web Page Color Analyzer, a palette browser and a CSS gradient um, generator. It's got, it's got a lot of stuff, um, you know, in which you can definitely go ahead and check out. It's, give, it's gonna give you the CSS value as well. All right, now another cool Chrome extension that I use all the time is called as Watt Font. Um, so let me just close this. So basically what it does is if I click on that, Chrome extension is gonna give me this kind of a cursor with some kind of an information and, and I click on any element, it shows me the height, the size, the line height, the color, and also uh, what the name of the font was. So in this case, it's called Elucid and the font weight is medium. That's pretty cool. So I can click on this. Okay, so this is 18 pixels with a different color and I can actually click on any type of text that I want. All right, so up next is a really cool Chrome extension that I use called as image downloader. What it does is when you click on it, it's gonna go ahead and pick up all the images that were used in the website. So in case I wanna use it for any kind of purpose, I could definitely go ahead and you know just click on that. It's gonna get all the assets for me and these export JPEG and PNG images. So you can actually right click, you can save the image, copy the image, or you can click here on the download button to download it. The problem is it does not go ahead and find the SVGs, but I do have another Chrome extension for that. But if you have, but you need, but if you need only images, PNG or JPEG images, this Chrome extension is definitely worth checking out. All right, so here's another cool Chrome extension that I use um, quite often, uh, but it's just, but this is, isn't quite design related, but it's really, um, you know, fun. So it's called as global rank. And what it basically does, it gi kind of gives you the stats of the country rank, the global rank, the category rank, and also kind of shows you the bounce rate, pages per minute, and all these kind of cool information. And you can actually check out how a website is performing. You can try this on your personal portfolio, or if you have any website, that you run, you can definitely check it out. It's pretty cool, it gives you quite a lot of information. Um, it, it, you can open up an entire page to check out the traffic and engagement, the geography, um, the traffic sources, um, and a lot more stuff. So definitely do check it out, it's quite fun uh, to see how websites perform. All right, up next is a really cool uh, Chrome extension called as Loom. So basically Loom is a video recorder and 
It gives you a canvas to work around with. Basically, screen record your laptop or your computer, and you can also pop in your face. And you know, as you can see, as it's shown over here, it's really cool and awesome. If you want to send a message to anybody, you can quickly do it. All you have to do is click on Loom. It's gonna go open it up, and let me just sign in. All right, and as you can see, it gives you a pop up if it wants to record your microphone. You can choose screen with camera. Uh, skip for now, or you could choose a uh, screen only or camera only. All right, right now I've blocked it with an ad blocker, but that's okay. And you can just start recording and it's really super fast and it's really useful and gets the job done within no time. So coming to the last Chrome extension, this is the one that I used when I want to get SVG. So for example, in this case, if I right click, you can see that I can't copy the image because it's an SVG. And let's just confirm that. So if you go to inspect, and if I come over here and then just choose this element, you can see that it's an SVG. So the Chrome extension that I use is called as SVG export. And what it does, it searches for each and every SVG that's there. It also searches for PNG and JPEG images, of course, also. All right, um, I'm not sure why it's not showing in this case, but it generally does show uh, PNG and JPEG images and you can just download and export the SVG, which is super awesome. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Let me know what Chrome extension that you guys use that I haven't covered this video. I'll definitely do check it out. If you have any questions or requests, let me know in the comment sections down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.